Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. We are turning things around this month. We're going to be doing an environment next. The day this video drops, Sentinels of Earth Prime Digital is also dropping. So if you haven't gotten that, go freaking get it. I am going to be going to the dentist, but rest assured, once I'm done there, I'm going to be spending the rest of the day playing Earth Prime, probably streaming it. It's going to be great. But yeah, we're doing an environment today. It is the Northern Reach, the second of Arki the Seventh's new She-Ra environments. This is a frozen an outpost, and uh, as I described it in the test game, it turns out this is kind of a combination of North Spar and the Ram, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. We're going to be fighting Legion because of the Letters Page episode today. I mean, I could have done Iron Legacy, but who wants to do that? Fighting Legion are the Sentinels 4 is 1, which I've never tried doing this with the Adamant Sentinels, so I'm going to do that. A regular old Baccarat, a new variant for the Raven called Raven Nether War, which I made. We will be done with those this month, so you can look forward to me not saying that every video. And the Brazen Coalition comes back with the variant Wallace Parish. So that's pretty cool. And let's see, the first thing I have to do is flip two of these guys. I have absolutely nobody here. I'm going to start with, I think, Medico and Mainstay. Okay, start a game. We get two random lunatics. So we have the Technophile and the Pyromaniac. Wonderful. If you don't remember the lore for Legion, she's another Vanessa Long who's come here and taken over the minds of all the heroes. So that's where we're fighting Bunker and Ra now. So at the start of the villain turn, if there are no lunatics in play, we get one. And if she has zero or fewer HP, or there are four or fewer lunatics under her, her mind flees the broken vessel and she flips. She is indestructible. When a non-madness villain card is played, resolve the matching effects on each lunatic, scythe and eye, and when the lunatic is destroyed, they're knocked out, remove them from the game. So here goes nothing. I hope I shuffled this deck. Infectious Insanity. Move a random lunatic from under Legion into play. The Triskaidekaphobe, who hilariously has 12 hit points. That is a Psy card. So this card deals the highest HP hero target 2 projectile damage and regains 2 HP. That is Raven. The Pyromaniac deals each non-villain target X fire damage where X number of environment cards in play. Okay, that's nothing. Thank you. The Triskaidekaphobe select the player with the fewest cards in their hand. They cannot play cards till the start of the next villain turn. Okay. Oh, nobody likes this. I'm going to make that the Raven. And that's actually everything. Yeah, there are no end of turn effects anywhere. Okay, I actually wanted to start the other way, so yeah. Start of turn, flip those two, flip those two up. We are going to teamly communicate. I got some good stuff. Just gonna go ahead and start with coordinated assault. Hit Triskaidekaphobe for three. Power, they haven't taken any damage yet, so let's hit her for two more melee damage. And draw a card. Back rat card tosses at the Triskaidekaphobe for one, and then we'll play Afterlife Euchre off of that and hit her for two toxic damage. Man, I haven't played regular-ass back rat in I don't know how long. Discard the top card of your deck. Put up two trick cards with the same name from your trash into play. Okay, so we'll play that Afterlife Euchre again. Hit her for two more, and draw a card. The Raven cannot play cards. He skips to draw two. His power, though, is Weapon Specialist. Destroy any number of your equipment cards. Use the power on one of your equipment cards, increasing one numeral on that card by X, where X is the number of equipment cards you destroyed this way. This power can get disgusting, and I love it. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a waste, but the Brazen Coalition is going to full broadside. Deals a target for fire damage. If a ship card is in play, you may destroy an environment card. Now we're just going to take out the Triskaidekaphobe. Goodbye. Wallace's power is Dead Eye Infiltration. Draw a card or discard a card. If you discard a card, reveal and replace the top card of any deck, then activate a money effect. I got no money effects, so we'll just draw a card and draw a card. All right, the Northern Reach plays Get Inside. When this card is played from the environment deck, destroy it and play the top card of the environment deck. At the end of each player's turn, guarantee I will forget this, they may move this card from the environment trash into their play area. Heroes and their targets that share a play area with this card are considered inside. So that goes in the trash, we play Uncovered Technology. At the start of the environment turn, if there are at least two heroes not inside, destroy this card and one of those heroes may use a power. Otherwise, destroy this card and play the top card of the villain deck. Okay, so one person can go inside and we'll be fine. Okay, there are lunatics in place, so we just play a card. Spreading Schizophrenia. Each hero discards their hand, then moves that many cards from the top of their deck into their hand. Play the top card of the villain deck. That is a madness card, so you don't activate anything on it. Play the top card of the villain deck. Psychotic Spirit. If there are fewer than two lunatics in play, there are not. Move a random lunatic from under Legion into play. Otherwise, each regains three HP. None of them have taken damage. So that is a Psy and I. So... Technophile hits the highest for two, that is still the Raven. Heals two, but he's at full. I deals the highest HP hero target three projectile damage, that is back rats. And then the Pyromaniac hits everybody for one, and deals the highest HP hero target three fire damage, that is Brazen Coalition. And that's their turn. All right, so I'm just gonna flip them back over, I guess. Unique capability. Do I have any signatures left? Oh, I do. Hippocratic Oath, good. 
draw a card, and we will play, oh, Team Communication, which gives me another unique capabilities, which I think, yeah, all the signatures are out of the deck, so we just shuffle and draw to go through it faster, and I'm going to play Collisionist Form off of that, since I have it in hand. Idealist will TK Thump the Technophile, since he's doing a lot of damage. Draw a card, end of turn, they're going inside. They've encountered that one SCP that nobody can understand. Ooh, Backrat's got cool stuff. Let's start with Ace of Saints. Reduce damage results to everybody by one. Power, what do we got for tricks? Just an afterlife euchre? Yeah, sure, why not? Do two damage to the Technophile. I guess we're working on him now. Draw a card. Okay, Raven can do stuff now. Let's do Tools of the Trade. A search for two tactics or equipment cards. I'm gonna go for more equipment. I want a boomerang and a gadget belt. I just cut up the two cards, no thanks. I will play the gadget belt and the boomerang. Boomerang, let's hit both of the villain targets for two and draw a card. Raising Coalition will bring out the Flame Hook. Wallace will... let's discard a card and activate the Money ability on the Flame Hook. This card deals up to three targets, one fire damage each. This is the second time this effect has been activated this turn. It's not. We'll just hit everybody for one. Draw a card. Oh yeah, and I can reveal and replace the top card of a deck. Derangement. Fun. All right, start of the environment turn. Destroy this card and one of those heroes may use a power. Let us TK Thump the Pyromaniac. Okay. Northern Reach plays Keypad. Awesome. Heroes have the following power. Destroy a copy of Get Inside in your play area. Use the power. So you just, if you need to get outside, you can freely do that. All right. Legion plays Derangement. Once Cardinals play, Legion deals each hero two psychic damage, and each lunatic regains two HP. Good thing we're all taking one less damage. We will Collisionist form that so they take no damage. I forgot to heal earlier. Start of the villain turn, Legion deals each hero one psychic damage, and each lunatic regains a hit point. That's not a Madness card, so we get the eye effects. Technophile hits the highest for two projectile damage. That is the Sentinels, who take one. And the Pyromaniac hits the highest for two fire damage. That'll be Baccarat, who takes one. Thanks, Baccarat. All right, Sentinels flip back over. What do we have to play off of this? Fling in the Darkness? Eh, that, that's about it. Yeah, I can hit the Technophile for three. That's about it. Power! Uh, I guess Mainstay will hit the Technophile for two melee damage. Draw a card, and we'll heal uh, everybody else. Okay, I don't think I have any pairs, so Ace of Saints goes away, but that was worth it. Back rat's gonna play Ace in the Hole, and off of that play I fold, we can use his power twice this turn. So we're gonna probably just play Afterlife Euchre twice, hit the Technophile for four, draw a card. Let's play Smoke Pellets, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Weapon Specialist. We will destroy the Smoke Pellets, and use the power on Boomerang, increasing it from two targets, two projectile damage, to three targets, two projectile damage. So we can hit all of them, the Technophile leaves the game, and we need to leave the Pyromaniac and focus on Legion now draw a card. Raising Coalition will spell Swindle. Destroy an ongoing card or a non-target environment card. If the card's destroyed this way, you may draw a card or activate a money effect. So we will destroy Derangement, and the Flame Hook will hit Legion for one. Don't need to activate that again, so we'll just go ahead and draw a card and draw a card. Northern Reach plays an infected monster. Device. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals the hero target with the highest HP who is not inside three melee damage and destroys an apparatus card. Then if there are no apparatus cards in play, this card deals each non-environment target two melee damage, which is bad because there's only one apparatus. So the Sentinels are the only ones who are inside. That is Raven taking three. And we destroy the keypad, which is unfortunate. We kind of need that. And everybody take two including the villains. All right, Legion does not get an extra lunatic. She plays Morbid Malaise, Madness. Each player discards three cards, then shuffles their trash and moves the top two cards of the trash to their hand, play the top card of the villain deck. That's just asinine. Asinine, but an interesting effect. Play the top card of the villain deck. Psychogenic Cocoon, Distortion. Legion is immune to damage, figures. When this card is dealt three or more damage, it deals each hero target X psychic damage, where X is the amount of damage it was dealt minus two. I assume that means at one time. And that is not a Madness card, so we get the Psy effect of everybody take one fire damage, including the Worm over here. All right, start a turn, we do a little extra flippy. And I think that's a good time for Dark Delusions. We'll hit, and eh, we'll hit the Cocoon for three, everybody take one. Uh, Sentinels block it with Collisionist Form. Oh no, you're right, that's an environment card, shit. So, okay, the Flame Hook is dead now. Let's go ahead and TK Thump him this time, since we can do that again. Draw a card, and that's it. Card Toss, ping the Cocoon for one, and then Fold. What do we got in the way of tricks here? No pairs yet, so just more Afterlife Euchre. We'll take out the Cocoon. Draw a card. Quoth the Raven, deal a target two melee damage, we'll hit Legion. Destroy an ongoing or environment card, the monster. I can put an equipment card from my trash into play. I'm on a sticky bomb, and I can play a card. How about a flashbang grenade? Power, sticky bomb. Four damage on Legion, draw a card. 
Okay, now we can use Daredevil Thief. The money effect is use a power on an ongoing equipment or relic card in play. That card affects the Brazen Coalition as if the hero name on that card were the Brazen Coalition, and you on that card means the Brazen Coalition's player. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Discard a card, and let's use Flashbang Grenade. Hit Legion for two and nerf her damage by one. Draw a card. It is super worth doing. Oh yeah, and we can reveal the top card of the villain deck. It'll give us another lunatic. Northern Reach plays Corrupted Rage, oh dear. When this card is play, if the hero with the highest HP is inside, they deal each target other than heroes who are not inside for melee damage and destroy this card. They are. If not, then it would be the hero who is not inside with the highest HP hitting all the hero targets that are not inside. But instead, the Sentinels hit themselves for four, reduced to two, redirected to Legion. <laughs> destroy that card. Idealist is just like, Rah! and Ryan is like, no. Okay. Infectious Insanity comes into play. We get the Obsessive. Oh, hey, it's Green Death. Man, it's been forever since I saw Union City Heroes. We get Psy Effects. So everybody take no fire damage, because it's one minus one. His is he deals the three highest HP hero targets two fire damage each, then deals himself three toxic damage. So that is everybody but Raven. Well, and the crew. Sentinel Soak it. It's himself for three. Cool. Let's do good hero, bad hero. Hit the Pyromaniac for three and heal three. And then we'll use Mainstay's power and kill the Pyromaniac. Good riddance. Draw a card and heal everybody else for one. Let's do cheap trick. Discard the top card. Get ourselves a random trick. Afterlife Euchre. Who knew? Do two damage to Legion. And that means for my power, I can play both copies of Afterlife Euchre. How cool is that? Four damage to Legion. Let's do in the Raven's Eye. We will increase damage dealt by Raven to Legion by one. Discard the top card of my deck and then I'll play Strike from Above. She deals up to three targets, two melee damage each. I will hit Legion for three. And destroy all other tactics, there aren't any. Power, Flashbang Grenade. Hit her for two, reduce that damage by one, draw a card. She's not dealing damage frequently, but when she does, it's usually a lot. Brazen Coalition is going to plunder secrets. Draw three cards. Thank you. You may activate a money effect. So let's go ahead and use uh, Gadget Belt, actually, to play an equipment card. So we get a fell flagship out. Increased damage dealt by the Brazen Alliance and Hero Crew by one. So power, let's go ahead and discard another card. We will use the Daredevil Thief again with the Boomerang and hit Legion for three. We'll leave the Obsessive alone because he's going to be taking himself out eventually. Draw a card. Northern Reach plays Security Cameras, Apparatus. When this card is play, search the environment deck and trash for keypad and put it into play. Oh, thank goodness. We definitely want that. Shuffle the deck. Okay. The end of the environment turn. If there are at least two heroes inside, reveal and replace the top card of the environment deck. Interesting. That'd be great if I had a way to discard the top card of a deck. I don't think I do. All right. Legion plays Aether Storm, not a Madness card. She deals each non-villain target to make that one toxic damage. Let's start the next villain turn. Increase damage dealt by Lunatics by one and change the type to Sonic. Reduce damage dealt by hero targets by one and change the type to energy. That is weird. They are now dealing gotta go fast damage. All right, uh, the obsessive hits the three highest for two, three sonic damage each and then hits himself for four sonic damage. That's everybody but the Brazen Coalition. Sentinels have to take it. Okay, the only true damage. <laughs> Okay, it is kind of super not worth playing Sentinel Tactics given the setup I have here. Let us instead do Dark Delusions again. Oh, that's right, it's one damage each, and then two damage to Legion. Power, TK Thump Legion, and draw a card. Let's do Ace in the Hole and play Abyssal Solitaire to give back Rat some damage reduction. Power, we will Afterlife Euchre twice, and hit Legion for a grand total of two. Draw a card. Well, I got some options here. Okay. The Raven descends. Actually, this might not be the best idea. Let me play a Sticky Bomb, and then I guess I will go ahead and do one Sonic damage with the Flashbang Grenade to give Legion another minus one. That's what you get for giving us a minus one. Draw a card. The Brazen Coalition play Captivating Crew. We are going to discard a card, and let's see, we'll reveal the top card of the villain deck. It's a Brain Bleed. That's going to be a bunch of destruction. Hmm. We're going to go ahead and activate the money effect of the Captivating Crew. One non-hero target deals one target other than itself to melee damage. You may discard a card and draw a card. So we'll have the Obsessive hit Legion for three Sonic damage. That's pretty good. I'm actually good with both those cards. Draw a card. All right, nothing happens there. Northern Reach plays Torrential Blizzard. When this card is plays, search the environment deck for a copy of Get Inside, put it into the environment trash, and shuffle the deck. There are three of them, so somebody else can go inside, probably the Brazen Coalition. Let's take and move this to their play area so that I don't forget. All right, end of the environment turn, there are not at least two heroes inside. There will be. End of the environment turn, deal each hero target who is not inside two irreducible cold damage. So that's everybody but the Sentinels. And it's irreducible, of course. All right, all these wear off. 
And we get Brain Bleed. Deals each hero three, reduced to one psychic damage. Baccarat soaks it. So do the Sentinels. Destroy two hero ongoing cards, specifically ongoing cards. Let's have one of them be Strike from above. Uh, when it's destroyed, I can use a power. How about Sticky Bomb? Actually, you know what? I'll use Weapon Specialist. I will destroy the Boomerang and increase Sticky Bomb to two melee and three fire damage and take out Legion. Or at least get her down to zero, so she'll flip next round, unfortunately. Second hero ongoing card is unfortunately going to be Hippocratic Oath. So that is three signatures in the trash. Hate it. And we get the Psy effect, so the obsessive hits everybody but the Raven for two. Backrat takes one, and then he hits himself for three, and that's it. Unique capabilities so that I can just trade that out and get through the deck quicker. All right, don't forget to flip. Now I can start mixing things up a little bit. Like, who else would I want to have with Writhe or Idealist? Okay, we will only flip Mainstay. Let's go ahead and do Restorative Burst. Everybody heal one. That's it. And then Power. Uh, let's hit her for two. Why not? Make her next damage irreducible. Draw a card. Bringing down the house. Yeah, we need to get rid of that blizzard. I will shuffle a pair of Ace of Saints into my deck. Get rid of Torrential Blizzard. Power. Let's see. I actually don't want to use Afterlife Euchre this time. Which is the one that lets somebody draw a card? Underworld hold them and let Baccarat draw a card and draw a card. All right, the Raven is just going to play into the shadows. Prevent the next damage dealt to him. Power will flashbang grenade Legion for keeping that minus one damage on her. Draw a card. I think I will plunder secrets. Draw three cards. Let's use the Daredevil Thief. We'll use Gadget Belt to just draw one more card. And then Power, I think we'll just draw more cards. It's good. And now they are inside. So things will happen. Northern Reach plays Get Inside, which goes away and plays Outpost Lab. Apparatus. When this card enters play, search the environment deck and trash for keypad, put it into play, shuffle the deck. It's already in play, thankfully. At the end of the environment turn, if there are fewer than two heroes in the side, each villain target regains four HP, so we definitely need to hole up. It's a good thing we've got two of them. So we have two heroes in the side, reveal and replace top card of the environment deck. It's another Torrential Blizzard, and the villains do not regain HP. Start of the villain turn. Legion has zero or fewer HP. So she flips. Destroy all villain ongoing cards. Remove all copies of Psychotic Spirit from the villain deck and trash, and shuffle the villain deck. Move two lunatics from under Legion into play. Flip a random lunatic to the possessed side. So we get the Solipsist, which is Mr. Fixer, and the Heliophobe, which is Writhe. And... okay. The Obsessive flips. Second time this card is dealt damage each turn, redirect it to the lowest HP hero target. And he has slightly different Psy and Eye effects. So when a Madness card enters play, if there are two or more villain targets in play, flip the Possessed to the Lunatic side, then flip a random other Lunatic to the Possessed side. When a non-Madness villain card would enter play, discard it, resolve the matching effects on each Lunatic, Silent Eye. When a Possessed is destroyed, remove it from the game. If there are no other villain targets in play, she has nowhere to flee and we win. Otherwise, flip a random Lunatic to the Possessed side. Fun. Okay, so non-Madness cards get discarded. As a one-shot, rend the mind, so we get the Psy effect. This card deals the three highest HP hero targets, four toxic damage each, holy butt. That is going to be everybody but Baccarat, whose damage reduction wore off. And Raven soaks it. Solipsist deals the two highest HP hero targets, two melee damage each. That is the Sentinels, and we'll say Raven. Heliophobe, next time Legion or the Possessed will be dealt damage, redirected to the highest HP hero target. And that's it for them. So we can't hit him more than once. We also kind of don't want to hit him at the moment. All right, we are going to have Writhe and Dr. Medico active. Horrifying Dichotomy, let's hit... Oh, hey, they've got Nemesis on the Heliophobe. Let's hit him for 8 damage. I will use Dr. Medico's power, heal 1, draw 2 cards. Getting there, getting close to that reshuffle. This'll do, all in. Discard a card and hit everybody for 1 and 1. First one gets redirected to the highest HP, and that is the Sentinels, who block it. And then the second one actually hits the Obsessive. Power, Afterlife Euchre twice, nothing better to do. Kill the Heliophobe, goodbye. Draw a card. Let's play another Flashbang Grenade, and we will use Weapon Specialist to destroy that Flashbang Grenade. Use the other Flashbang Grenade so the Raven can deal two targets to Sonic Damage. So we will kill the Obsessive, hit the Solipsist. Let's do that in the other order, maybe. He flips to his possessed side. First time each turn, this card will be dealt three or fewer damage, redirected to the highest HP hero target. Ooh, jeepers. We can reduce his damage by one. That'll be helpful. Draw a card. We just need to be able to deal a bunch of damage. Oh, full broadside! Brazen Coalition deals a target 4, make that 5 fire damage. Hits the Solipsist for 5. May destroy an environment card, but I won't. Power. Let us discard a card. We will use Daredevil Thief. 
Hmm. So I don't have anything good to do with that, do I? I don't have any equipment cards. There are no targets other than himself, and that would get redirected anyways. Let's just go ahead and, well, yeah, no, let's just go ahead and use Gadget Belt. Draw a card, draw a card. Okay, and Reach gets one more go. Torrential Blizzard, shuffle the deck, because all the get insides are in play or out. So, reveal and replace top card of the environment deck. Corrupted Data Disc. This card enters play, it puts a get inside into the environment trash. Reduce damage dealt to this card by one. Increase damage dealt by devices by two. Ooh, that could have some nasty synergy. Villain targets do not regain four HP. Raven and Backrat each take two cold damage because they're out in the cold. All right, Legion for some reason gets to play a card. Aether Storm. That is not a madness card, so we discard it and get the eye effect. This card deals the hero with the most cards and play five melee damage. Then if that hero has five or less HP, destroy it. So it's four melee damage. Most cards in play is, of course, the Sentinels. So that is reduced to two, redirected to the Solipsist, and then redirected to the Sentinels as two damage. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, I guess. The Sentinels all flip. Jeez, normally I would coordinate the Assault, but that's only three damage. We're gonna just play Second Chance so they can heal six, and skip their power because both of these are less than three damage. Draw a card. Backrat's gonna go a card toss, hits the Solipsist, gets redirected to the Sentinels, one damage, and then we will go all in, discard Graveyard Bridge, hit the Solipsist for one and one. Oh, and then we win the game, Afterlife Euchre. Boom. But hey, that was pretty good. Let's take a look at the rest of the Northern Reach. External Breach. When this card enters play, deal each hero target who is inside, and each villain target, three projectile damage. Then destroy two hero ongoing cards or equipment cards belonging to heroes who are inside, one apparatus card, and this card. Wow. The apparatuses just take a lot of damage. That's actually the only card we didn't see. Cool. So yeah, Northern Reach, really neat concept, and it works pretty darn well. Has a lot of shuffling and moving parts, but whatever. You can find that on Sentinels of Etheria. You can find Legion and the Sentinels 4 is 1 on Adelpha Phage's archives. You can find Nether War Raven on Walker's Workbench and Brazen Coalition on Bad Skies mod. So, as always, thank you for watching. Thanks everybody who came to chat. It's been a very memorable stream, I think. Tabletop Simulator the Reef Sentinels called in DLC. Sentinels of Ethereum, Adelpha Phage's archives, Walker's Workbench, and Bad Guys Sentinels mod. And all that's great games, products, please support the official release. And flip.